This historic moment is brought to you by Bucksport Sporting Goods, pioneers of outdoor sporting goods since 1948, and by Ming Tree GMAC Real Estate, the service you deserve from the people you trust. I'm Bill Morrill, and this is 101 Milestones. This is my ancestral family home. It was built in 1866 by my great-great-grandparents, Joseph and Zipporah Russ. This is really a rambling old ranch house. It was added on numerous times because the Russes had 13 kids. This is a living legacy to pioneer California history. And one of the things that makes it unique is it's still in my family's hands today. Joseph Russ amassed an empire in Humboldt with huge ranch holdings, timber, shipping, and retail enterprises. And despite legendary rumors, I believe Joseph Russ was a just and fair man. After his passing in 1886, his interest became the Z. Russ Company, headed up by Zipra and managed by his sons. This is a photo from the 1920s of my mom, my Uncle Bill, and Zipra in her declining years. The kitchen is as it was when it was done in 1873, and it's always been this way. It's been used for decades. They saved everything. They were never swayed by corporate consumerism. The pioneer ethic they lived by was if you didn't need it, there was no reason to get it. This photo from about 1950 in the dining room shows Aunt Bertha at the head of the table with my Uncle Bill Beal where I'm sitting with various aunts and my grandparents. It was the women from three generations that I think were most notable. Zipper Russ, my Aunt Bertha Russ Lytle, and my cousin Viola Russ McBride. Each of these women made great contributions to the community that still benefit us today. Aunt Bertha, who was the last surviving child, set up the Bertha Russ Lytle Foundation upon her death in 1972, and this organization has helped many worthy causes on an annual basis. Zipper Russ was a conservationist, gifting forested parkland here at Russ Park in Ferndale and Pioneer Grove at Prairie Creek Redwood State Park. My cousin, Viola Russ McBride, was an artist and a patron of the arts. I knew her well and enjoyed listening to her stories, especially about Uncle Ira's carousing. She grew up here at Fern Cottage, raised by her aunts and her single father, Will Russ, after she lost her mom. She is credited with the historic preservation of Ferndale's Main Street. Fern Cottage, now a living museum. Call the number shown for current tour information. <laughs>